Welcome to the Indoor Lighting Alterations Overview video. California's most recent building energy efficiency standards, known as the Energy Code, took effect on January 1, 2020. These Energy Code updates create pathways to improve the efficiency of newly constructed buildings, additions, and alterations to existing buildings. In this video, we'll provide an overview of indoor lighting alterations, the compliance options for indoor lighting alterations, and the compliance thresholds for these projects. Let's define indoor lighting alterations. This refers to any lighting component, system, or equipment regulated by the Energy Code, including replacing, adding, removing and reinstalling, relocating, or retrofitting existing luminaires. It also includes changes to wiring, like connecting luminaires to new switches, relays, or branch circuits. Nearly all types of lighting alteration projects are covered by the Energy Code. You'll find them in section 141.0b2i. Note that there are six types of projects that are exempt from the alterations requirements for indoor lighting. They include projects that could disturb asbestos during construction, any enclosed space with only one luminaire, modifications to portable luminaires or those attached to movable partitions, any alteration that simply adds lighting controls or replaces lamps, ballasts, or drivers. One-for-one -one luminaire alterations of up to 50 luminaires per year per complete building floor or complete tenant space. And alterations and additions to indoor lighting in healthcare facilities. On a related note, acceptance testing requirements are not required for alterations where lighting controls are added to control 20 or fewer luminaires. The compliance threshold for alterations is 10% or more of the existing luminaires in the enclosed space. Alterations to indoor lighting systems that include 10% or more of the luminaires in an enclosed space must meet one of three compliance options. Option 1. Adhere to the same requirements as new construction projects. This includes all mandatory and prescriptive lighting requirements. Option 2. If the alteration project uses 80% or less of the indoor lighting power allowed for new construction projects, they have reduced control requirements. Projects need only to adhere to requirements for manual area controls and automatic shutoff controls. Option 3 is for projects in small buildings or tenant spaces that are 5,000 square feet or less in size and include only one-for-one -one luminaire alterations that result in at least a 40% power reduction per luminaire. These projects only need to adhere to the manual area control and shutoff control requirements. Table 141.0-F in the Energy Code outlines control requirements for indoor lighting system alterations. Before we wrap things up, how about a quick review? Indoor lighting alterations refer to changes to lighting components, systems, or equipment regulated by the Energy Code. Also, indoor lighting alterations have three paths to compliance. The compliance threshold for alterations is 10% or more of the existing luminaires in the enclosed space. And some projects are exempt, including those that address a very small number of luminaires and those that only add lighting controls. For more information on indoor lighting alterations, visit the California Energy Commission at energy.ca.gov.